it's not about the volume of my moves, it's about the quality of the moves. Just develop as usual. I'm really interested in pushing this pawn here to maybe touch on the knight, get it to move. But I'm also interested in developing my bishop so that I can go and castle. Because it feels like I'm moving that again, you know, so pushing up. Again, doing this um, pawn move here, the F pawn move. It's really not going to catch on. Let's say, uh, go here. How many games have we seen this manoeuvre being thrown in? I wonder if some grandmasters using it somewhere and they're trying to make it um, trendy. Let's just push here now so the knight's kind of pinned to the king. So the pawn's potentially getting that for free. Uh, not just yet though. It's going to be pushing down his pawn. We go here, pushes down, pushes down, pushes down onto our knight. And our knight can move. Yeah, maybe we don't win out there then. Okay, let's go here. Let's capture. This pawn can take the bishop. Hmm. Hmm, probably lost out there, didn't we? Maybe I should have stuck with the first four. Let's go here first. And let's grab this pawn. And then grab this pawn. Go and castle, but is there more devastation to be done up top? Let's go and castle. Put a check. It's coming for the knight. It's left this pawn. Maybe the king should have gone this side. So this pawn's not protected, so we can put a check on here. King goes through the side. We don't have a white squared bishop. We do have a knight, but the pawn will take. It can take, and the pawn will take. Rook can put a pressure onto the knight here. Develop the dark squared bishop. Where's it going? This pawn's going to be under attack because his bishop's going to take our knight any second. So. It's going to take the knight. Let's get the knight out of the way. If we bring the knight here, is it serving a purpose? Not really. You know, I'm bringing it back. Back to come back out. Now it's attacking. Now through that knight, good job we did bring it back because he's not going to take the pawn now. Huh? could come here but it's got two pieces on, on that area just bring it round this way then maybe go here if his knight stays there he's, has, he's come down because he's thought that that was um, a free pawn as we said then it was a good job we brought the knight back here quality of moves and they've resigned that seemed to be over very quickly <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have a quick look at the old analysis on this one. Okay. So we captured, captured. We said we were looking for quality moves. Develop the knight out. Just want to see if they were quality-ish in the machine's eyes. Yes, this F pawn thing is definitely not going to catch on. I don't know why players are still doing it. It's really weird. I've not seen any player play with any strength using that at the moment. Unless, of course, Carlson's doing it and he's getting away with it. But I don't remember his games pushing the F-pawn like this. 
so the machine doesn't like their position but they're getting better as we messed up this bit of continuation here yeah so we should have just left the night night alone really and um, I have just captured the pawn and looked for the queen exchange but I thought I was being clever by pinning the knight but in essence we're only going to be a pawn up really after it all but we've got nice space in front of the king their king and they're not taking the opportunity so we can try and take advantage of the airy king with no protection around it and as we do we protect our pawn here because yeah I can see why he did take the pawn yeah because it looks like nothing is protecting it yeah. a stealth knight 